than the presidential race. The 2024 campaign that has received the most attention is the race to succeed Dianne Feinstein in the Senate from California. Feinstein, who will be 90 later this year, has not announced that she is not running, but most assume that she is not running. And if she runs, she probably wouldn't win right now. Already, there are three well-known Democratic members of the House, Barbara Lee, Katie Porter, and Adam Schiff, who have announced their candidacy. If you live in California, you should pay attention to this race. Figure out which one you like the most. I have my own preference, Barbara Lee. And support that candidate, vote for that candidate, give that candidate money, volunteer, do all those things. But if you live outside that, of that state and you, and you are a progressive and you have given money to anybody in the past, you are already receiving emails from them asking you for money, telling it is imperative that they win that Senate seat. The truth is, it doesn't really matter in the bigger picture. All three of them would be good senators and anyone else, like Ro Khanna, who might join the race, would also be a good senator. What it, they, they will all vote for Chuck Schumer for, for leader of, of the Senate, and they will all support the kind of Biden, Schumer, Hakeem Jeffries agenda. It matters a little bit, but there are much, much more important national races going on in 2024. If you are a partisan, if you want to stop the MAGA Republican authoritarian movement, then give your money somewhere else. It's more important if you want to help Hakeem Jeffries get, get, become speaker, help the Democrats remain competitive in the Senate by investing in competitive Senate races, help Joe Biden get reelected. But who represents California in the Senate? Which of these three partisan Democrats is simply not all that important in the bigger picture of national politics?